There is that meme, um, people aren't afraid of the books, they're afraid of thinking, <laughs> you know, or critical thinking, yeah. A lot of it is just a fear of society moving forward and their children kind of ex being exposed to issues that parents maybe don't want to discuss with them. And so they don't want the kids to bring it home and then ask difficult questions. I think that's a big impulse behind um, challenging books. A lot of books get banned because of social situations that they're describing. So Fahrenheit 451 gets banned because it shows a society that is banning books. So ironically, people are maybe offended by that. 1984 gets banned. Um, I think that one is usually because of the disturbing nature of the society that it depicts. Um, the Giving Tree gets banned actually because of gender issues and it's a pretty sexist book <laughs> and people don't want that around their children. To Kill a Mockingbird gets banned because of the um, racial inequities and um, a lot of the things in there that people think are too disturbing for children or sometimes people think it's outdated and they don't want to show that to children. So there's a lot of different reasons that books get banned uh, or challenged. Literature is powerful and um, people are afraid of what, um, what their children will think if they read something by a person who is having a different worldview or perspective than their own. I do think politics play a role. I think a lot of times people are, um, as are we all, we're led by the little sound bites that we get on our social media. And so I think that a lot of times people hear something about a book and they think, oh, that's awful. I can't believe a child is reading that. They have never read the book. They really don't know anything about the book. Um, and I think that those kinds of um, dog whistles are in our social media. I would say the number one reason that books are challenged across Iowa, across the US is because of sexuality, because of LGBTQ issues. Tango makes three. It's a children's picture book about two male penguins who adopt an egg. They're seen as gay penguins, and so people freak out. They don't want their kids learning about nature. It's an important issue to discuss um, challenged and banned books, especially when it's a, a topic that might seem like it's too much for a certain age group or, you know, whatever, um, to let people kind of decide on their own with enough information. Books are pow powerful. But I just think it's ironic too that most parents, many parents, not all, um, don't actually pay attention to what their kids are watching on TikTok, uh, <laughs> television. Um, but the minute a, a book gets into a curriculum, then they're freaking out. So it just seems a little hypocritical.